This is Gum Gorilla. I was surfing the internet and came across this story. What's the Center for American Progress? Who's George Soros? What's his relationship to Center for American Progress? And what's his relationship to this? Let me ask you, is George Soros a crony capitalist? Does George Soros pay his fair share? Is he getting rich off the corrupt system of Wall Street speculation through hedge funds? How much did George Soros make last year? In case you don't know, he made $7 billion last year personally through his hedge fund and investments. So we here at Monk News had our number one banana reporter get the facts. What did you find, Joe? Yes, Gum, this is what I found, and it's very distressing. George, I want you to look at uh, a piece of video we have here. The question is, do we have a shadow government? And if we do, who are those intelligent minority that is, that is guiding us through? And who, where are they guiding us to? If you skip past all of the puppets and the strings, if you stop looking at the puppets themselves, you have to see who's behind the puppets. Who is choosing the puppets and the players? Who's the puppet master? George Soros. So George, um, Glenn Beck has been on this kick that you are actually the mastermind who is trying to bring down the American government. How do you react when you see this kind of thing? Well, I, I would be amused if, if uh, people saw the joke in it. Uh, because what he is doing, he is projecting what Fox, what Rupert Murdoch is doing, because he has a, a, a media empire that is uh, telling the people uh, some falsehoods and this and, and uh, leading uh, the government in the wrong direction. Uh, but, you know, by accusing me of doing that, it kind of uh, makes it ra rather hard to see that it's really he is working for the man who is doing it, which but is it, Fox News. It's, but Buying political power, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Factor has been investigating far-left billionaire George Soros, a man who wants to impose a radical left agenda on America, and under the radar he is making great progress. Soros has set up a complicated political operation designed to do two things, buy influence among some liberal politicians and smear people with whom he disagrees. Now here's a chart of how Soros and a few other wealthy radicals who help him are funneling money into the political process. Stay with me on this. Most of Soros's political money flows through his Open Society Institute, you see it there on the left, which is almost unlimited funding. Since 2001, according to federal documents, the Open Society Institute has given nearly $20 million to the Tides Foundation, right below that. An astounding amount. Now, Tides, in turn, funnels the money to a variety of radical hatchet men who are all well paid. For example, Tides has donated millions to the vile propaganda outfit Media Matters, which specializes in distorting comments made by politicians, pundits, and media people. Media Matters is an internet site, but directly feeds its propaganda to some mainstream media people, including elements at NBC News, columnists Frank Rich and Paul Krugman at the New York Times, columnist Jonathan Alter at Newsweek, and Bill Moyers at PBS. In fact, as president of the Schumann Center Foundation, Moyers oversaw at least a half million dollar transfer of money to Media Matters. We'll have more on that tomorrow. Now, George Soros is also pouring money into the Center for American Progress, run by former Clinton aide John Podesta, and the Democracy Alliance Group, both of which fund Media Matters as well. So you can see an enormous amount of money this Media Matters has control of. Finally, George Soros has given the radical left organization Move On many, many millions of dollars. This group actively supports liberal politicians like Howard Dean and John Edwards. It also organizes demonstrations promoting left-wing causes. So you can see how powerful this guy Soros has become. He can smear anyone he wants in a variety of ways. His organizations can raise millions for politicians who will do his bidding. Thus, he can demand that politicians running for office do what he tells them to do. 
If a liberal politician doesn't toe the Soros line, he or she will be denied funding and brutally attacked. Just ask Senator Joseph Lieberman about what Move On and Media Matters did to him. So a, 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 an orderly decline of the dollar is actually a, a desirable. It was actually probably the happiest year of my life, that year of German occupation. For me, it was a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you, and, and in fact, you are, you are in considerable danger.